All right, before we start our abstract landscapes, let's make sure we have everything, our black paper, our colored strips of paper, glue, scissors, a pencil, um, and our brainstorm sheet. If you haven't done the brainstorm sheet, make sure to do it. Check out the instructions above the video. Next, we are going to recreate our shapes from our brainstorm handout onto our black paper. Um, using your pencil, uh, make sure to recreate all of those shapes. You do not have to do this step. I'm just quickly outlining my pencil lines and markers so that you can see them. The next step is to cut our paper strips. We want to cut them small, but we want to be want them to be large enough so that we can glue them. If they're too small, then we will not be able to glue them and we'll make a big, big mess. So um, look at the size that I am cutting them, and in a moment I will compare them to the size of my hand so you can see the size of them. Notice that I put all of my small pieces of pink paper that I cut into a neat little pile next to my paper. So now we're just going to go ahead and finish cutting our pieces of paper. They do not all have to be the same size as one another. All of mine were different. Um, so finish up cutting all of them and then put them in a nice little neat pile like this next to you. Next, we're going to start gluing our small colored piece of paper onto our black paper. We're going to start by outlining our shapes. Um, I left my circles without a color for now because those are going to be my leaves. Um, so yeah, just keep going around following your pencil lines, um, gluing down your shapes. So I finished outlining two of my shapes. I have one more to go. Um, notice that I switched up the colors because I didn't want them all to look the same. Um, and I think it just made it look more exciting. So don't be afraid to use whatever colors that you want to. We're focusing on bright colors because this is somewhere that makes us happy. After I've outlined all of my shapes with my colored paper, it's time to use more colored paper to fill them in. Um, so this is how I decided to fill in my first one. I started with a dark green piece, um, and then I decided I was going to do a medium green piece. So like I said before, choose whatever colors you want. This is about bright, fun colors. So now that I have finished my trees, now I'm going to go ahead and use some different colors for my leaves. I was thinking about some fall trees here, so I decided to use some pink and some orange. And on my paper, I put those where I drew my circles because that's where I decided that my leaves would be. So finish up by adding your final details to your piece and you have created an abstract landscape inspired by Alma Woodsy Thomas. Um, I can't wait to see your creations. Don't forget to post them to Google Classroom and click Submit. I can't wait to see them.